Hi, today we'll discuss an uh, important interview question. Um, how is constructive calling order works during inheritance? Now, let's see uh, with an example. Suppose I have a class, uh, grandpa, okay, that is a base class or parent class. Uh, the class father is inheriting from the grandpa class. So, grandpa is the father class or a base class of the, the father class. Similar to that, we also have a son class whose parent class is class father. So, the son class is actually having two parent classes. First is father, that is a direct parent. And... It also has the grandpa as a parent class indirectly because this father class has its own parent as a grandpa. So uh, this is how uh, we have an example with the inheritance. Now as you can see, each class here has its own constructor. So um, I am writing on the console a line whenever somebody tries to create an object. When somebody is going to create an object of grandpa class, its constructor code is going to be called and it should print I am the grandpa on the screen. Similar to that, we are writing appropriate line for the constructor of father class and for the constructor of the son class. Now, here in the main method, what I'm doing is I'm just creating object of a son class that lies at the last position in the inheritance, right? So what do you think? What should it print on the screen? When uh, this will be executed, this line will be executed, son son is equal to new son. It is obviously going to call the constructor of the son class, right? This one. So you are expecting it to print I am son on the console. So let's run it and check it what it is printing. Okay, so as you can see, even we created the object of just a son class. It is printing on the first line, I am the grandpa, then I am the father, and then I am the son, right? So what is happening now why it is printing above two lines now let's discuss the answer it is because whenever you uh, call a new object line uh, to create a new object of any class first of all it does not call its own constructor directly first of all it always calls the constructor of its parent class now the parent class constructor is the father class so it is going to execute the constructor of the father class but this father class also have one more parent that is a grandpa so it has to call the topmost parent constructor first so it, it goes at the this stage to call this constructor now this grandpa doesn't have any explicit uh, parent as inherited parent Obviously, it is going to have the topmost object class is, as its parent. But apart from that, uh, it is the base class in the chain. That is why this is the first constructor that is executed. After that, the control comes back to the next level constructor in the chain that is a father. And then it comes to the final uh, constructor of the son class. That is why... It is printing I am the grandpa first then I am the father as a next line and then at last it is printing I am the son so you understand that in if you are using inheritance and if you are writing some important logic in the constructor of the classes then you must know the order in which the logic will be executed uh, the topmost base classes constructor is always going to be executed first whatever logic you write here then the chain continues and the it it will uh, executed at last whatever uh, your last class in the inheritance chain 
so this is how the constructor calling order works i hope this is clear to you thank you